All right, guys, this is D. Ivan Brieson. Uh, hopefully you recognize me from my other video, and uh, this is a little bit belated in getting to you, but you are yet the, I don't know, fourth, fifth, or sixth victims of my experiment to start out a Web 2.0 and social media class with an opening. In other words, there's just a space for you. Um, and as almost all of your predecessors, you did nothing. You failed. <laughs> so um, the idea is to get you into the mindset of, um, in this day and age, particularly with the Internet, you cannot be thinking about things as, okay, what do I need to do? When do I need to get it done? What are the requirements for the grade in this class? And so typically I start out the class that way to kind of give you an opening to decide what you want to do. And in typical fashion, you all didn't really decide. You waited for me to tell you what to do. So I had to turn on all the course materials and things like that. So now you have a lot of kind of do this, do this, do this activities. I don't really like to do the class that way, but um, we all as students and educators have kind of indoctrinated each other into that's how we do it in school and I'd like to you to try and get away from that um, I actually got didn't get in trouble but I had someone complain to my supervisor and saying you know the fact that there's no syllabus is a sax violation and so on and so forth um, but really that's not the goal of this class is to explore the goal of this class is to look at social media and tools and for many of you to apply those in education and this is really an open-ended journey. It's like the difference between trying to get to Seattle for a wedding or dry, taking a road trip to Seattle because it's fun to take a road trip. So in one, your goal is to get there, and the other, your goal is to enjoy the journey. So I would like you to think of this class as enjoying the journey. Having said that, I actually was looking at some more resources because there's just some great um, websites out there. And I'll share with you a quick story before I cut this short. Um, I was in uh, Craven doing a workshop there a couple days ago and I it was on using Moodle and one of the uh, teachers was a he teaches music appreciation and um, he was a very shy guy but he thanked me shook my hand and I, when I found out what he taught I said hey have you seen this stuff and, and he said no I haven't forgive me while I put my glasses on you'll notice they create a glare and I'm using a well I showed you about the camera other places so it prompted me to show him a couple things and what I'm going to do this is really the getaway of sharing screens um, but hopefully you can see it anyway but don't don't do this at home there are screen sharing software but a lot of the resources I'll have for the class will be at a site called tropical teachers probably not a good idea to leave YouTube while I'm doing this tropical teachers.com slash web 2.0 and so I went ahead and made this thing called links and I put a bunch of things here and one of the things that um, is really just stunning that we can do with the web now is combine a lot of people's efforts all around the world. So what I'd like you to do is go to that link and watch it. And specifically, it is about, forgive the shakiness here. Again, this is a camera issue. Um, this video is about um, a composer who made an, uh, essentially a chorus of 2,000 people from around the world. And quite frankly, it brought tears to my eyes. So look at that. And there's a couple others linked to there. So tropicalteachers.com slash web 2.0, 2.0, and click the links link and have a look at some of these things. And what I'm asking you to do, this isn't written up as an assignment yet, but if you don't give it to me, I'll have to write it up as an assignment, is find something that's just really amazing and inspiring online. And uh, share that link on the discussion forum in Google, the Google group. Um, and then speaking of Google Group, one of the things we have to figure out is how to best communicate. My personal opinion is that uh, the Google Groups ends up being easier than the Moodle discussion forum, but you've got to use that. And if we can all agree on the best way to interact and how to see each other's posts and so on, then we'll, we'll stick with that. But I need your interaction. I need you to jump in, seize the day, grab the bull by the horn, the tiger by the tail, however you want to call it, and not wait, not be a passive consumer of course content. There we go. Let's have at it. Um, I've already been going through some of the material from before. If you see something there, go ahead and knock it out, and please do review your classmates' videos. Thanks so much.